Right, start with a trigger warning. All my poems are as offensive, but not as offensive as a Tory government. <laughs> this one is called Uncooperative Crusty. Oi, Boris, I'm an uncooperative crusty. Have been since the 1990s, from the poll tax to Newbury by the Criminal Justice Act. And I'm and in heaving, hence smelling bivouac. I've had better parties than your bullendon bullies. Extinction Rebellion telling it like it is, and you come out with this steaming piss. You're a shite right-wing loon. Pretending you're a buffoon as much as an amiable clown as Pennywise. <laughs> to me, Boris, you resemble porridge poured into a suit with a stuck on the top Donald Trump cast off hairpiece crossed with a mop, you cock! <laughs> I am an uncooperative crusty. Yes, my underwear is musty, dusty, rusty, just a bit gusty, sometimes lusty, but that's just me. <laughs> and of no relevance to climate crisis reality, unlike all your policies, you're a slabbering fool. An opportunistic tool who thinks he's born to rule. So fuck off, Boris, you're a spewing orifice. I said fuck off, Boris, you're a spewing orifice. So fuck off, Boris, fuck off! You're spewing orifice! Thank you very much. Cheers. I'm going to slide, try and slide two more in, but if you laugh and enjoy this first one, I won't have room for the second one. <laughs> so don't enjoy this. Right, this one is called uh, Badgers. It's all about the badger cull and mainstream media. I am a badger. To the Tory gentry, I'm public enemy number scum. The Daily Express hate me. They sound me leave with ISIS, the bureaucrats of Brussels, and worst of all, Jeremy Corbyn. <laughs> So after all this character assassination, I'm making my evening mission to cough on as many cows as possible. Because I'm a man for your bad for your lung busting TV beast, your two-tone terrorist with pointy teeth, because I am a badger. I'm nocturnal, and at night, on the quiet, without fail, according to the Daily Mail, I go boatloads of asylum seekers secretly into this country. But not just any asylum seekers, but workshop transgender Muslim ones that wear hoodies. Because <laughs> I'm a bad for you, bad for you, long busting TV beast, you two tongue territory pointy teeth, because I am a badger. Being a badger, I'm both black and white. The unacceptable face of multiculturalism thunders the headlines of the Telegram. And the Murdoch spun lies of the sun, so I've been given a five bed mansion as a council set where I've got how to make fraudulent claims for benefit. And according to the usual misprints in The Guardian, I'm a mod few, bod few, lung basting TCP beast here, two tunes with panty teeth because I am a blodger. So, as for the cull, well, the jerks didn't catch enough of us to make it work. The badgers have moved the goalposts, the Environment Secretary admitted. So, we badgers have outwitted a government full of public school boys with the best education privilege can buy. But I realise that's not much of a boast. So, as for your cow, well, I ain't hanging around to get shot. I'm off to cobble some cows or some tops. And Princess Anne wants the gases to hang the upper classes. And farmers are cheap badgers, but I'll bite them in the nagers. Because I'm a man for you, bad for you, lung busting TV beast, you two tone terrorist, pointy teeth, because I am a badger. Thank you very much. Cheers. One minute, five seconds long. I don't know if I've got one minute, five seconds, but uh, we'll do it anyway. <laughs> right, okay. Now, I used to be on protest sites back in the day, and this poem's about, well, one I was on 20 years ago. Um, we had bottled to rip water to drink down the tunnels, and we cost a eight billion quid to get out the tunnels and trees. And um, being good environmentalists, we recycled and reused the bottles and pissed in them. It's about the time I found a half full or was it a half empty bottle? Early one morning, obviously down the tunnel, the lighting wasn't very good. This is called, it's good for you really, or give piss a chance. 
Now let us drop piss in that time of the blue. I laughed but it wouldn't happen to me. But on the 29th morning, first thing, to wash my throat, I was thirsty. With sleep, sodden, brain to eyes, I opened the water bottle of lies. <laughs> It looks all right in the digital green light that glowed from the world's weakest snap light, and it smelled a little toothpaste fresh, as if the last drink had minty breath. But there was another lonely stench of peace, so I drunk my throat, clayed us free. But then, like the false gave let's see, the aftertaste of salt hit me. Uh. <laughs>